guys, I'm going to give you the easiest way to do a fog light install on the 2006 Honda Civic Si. It is going to be the coupe and not the sedan. Alright, now I'll go over the tools. First, you're going to need a Dremel. You can get any one you want. I uh, bought my $40 kit from Menards. You need a 10 millimeter socket, Phillips head screwdriver, and electrical tape. So now we're going to start taking off the bumper. Obviously you have a couple of push pins right there, right there, right there, and right there. Just pull those off. So I'm going to do that real quick. Alright, we got that cover off. So now this is we're going to use a 10 millimeter for that bolt and that bolt. And then the Phillips head, which is going to be right up there on each side. So I already have my skid plate taken off, so that's going to be a lot less push pins. So let's get going on that. I forgot to tell you what fog lights I got for it, and then two other pieces. So I'll put pictures of what I used, and we'll go from there. All right, so that last picture I showed you guys was the add a fuse. What I have in there right now is just the mini fuse. What the Hondas run is the low pro mini fuse. It's not gonna cause any damage if you put the regular mini fuse add a fuse in, but if you do get the mini fuse one, make sure you get the mini. If you get the mini low pro, make sure you get the mini low pro fuse. All right, now we got all the bolts off, the screws out, what you're gonna do just pull back on here ever so gently and it just pops right off. Same thing with right up there, it just kind of slides right off. Same thing on the other side. Just gentle tug and then just like every other Honda, it falls apart. So I'll just get that out of the way. I'll we'll start off with the front bumper. So since I already have my fog lights installed, my fiance dremeled it out. It's not the most perfect, but for my daily, it fits for me, and you can't even notice it. So that's where you take the Dremel to. It's gonna take it right up to this lip right here. I'm gonna follow it all the way around, and I'll show you what the back looks like. That's all it is right there. Comes with the bracket, the three mounting screws. You gotta mount there, there, there. And same thing on the other side. So I believe any Honda that you have that does not come with fog lights, they will already come with the screw holes already in there, ready to be installed. All right, now we got that done. I'm gonna go inside the car real quick. Easiest way, slide the seat all the way back. And I'm gonna get in here, best way for me. So what I usually do is feet up here, head down here. And now you got this cover. You got this screw right here, right underneath the steering wheel. Just twist that off. And there's a little plate back there and it just unclips and pulls off. I'm gonna do that quick. All right, so now that's off. I went to the radio fuse. Now, the nice thing about that is when you turn your car off, the fog lights turn off. So you don't run your battery out or anything like that. So that is the add a fuse that I was talking about right there. And that's got the lead that comes off right to where you see that guy right there. And then in that kit, it has the wire harness that actually goes up to the switch itself and I'll show you the switch and that's the switch it just has a regular plug on it like a OEM plug would now with the wires that you guys were asking about this is the only wire right here that runs up to the front from the 
dash itself. And the white wire that everybody is asking about, <clears throat> that is right here. That will get into the top of the adifuse so that it will power and light up your switch. So that's going to be the easiest way. So you'll also need a crimper, which I forgot to mention. So wire stripper and a crimper. That is all that you're going to need for that. So now we'll go and follow the wire and we'll go up to the front. I forgot to mention the ground is going to be right here from the switch. That's going to be three wires. So you have the white one that goes to the adifuse. You got the red one that goes all the way up to the front. Then you got the black which mounts right there and it's just a ground. The only thing that I hate what it did was run the wire that goes to the front right there. I could not find a port on the firewall itself. I do not recommend doing that because if that get, gets pinched and the wire shows, you're going to ground it out and it's not going to be a good day. But if you do want to do it that way, I do not recommend it. I'm going to take this cover off right here, run the wire through there, and it's going to come down and that's it right there. So now that we got that cover off, you can see the wire running all the way down through there. And I just zip tied it out right down here. Then obviously electrical tape it up. You gotta redo the tape on there just to make sure it's all weatherproofed. And now we got another harness for the fog lights themselves. So I zip tied them up right on the bottom there. I might try to hide it underneath the radiator just so in case something does happen, it doesn't yank the wires out. But I just fed that up right through here. And then you have a 10 millimeter bolt right there. That's where I mounted the relay and all the wires come with it. There's another fuse right here. And then positive wire comes off of there. Just goes to the positive to the battery itself. And then negative from that wire harness comes to the negative post itself, just, just like normal. And that's pretty much to it. Uh, showed you how to run the wires, what the white wire was that everybody was asking about, where to run it. Like I said, I do not recommend running it through the door jam. As I said before, it could arc out. So if you guys want to stick around, I'm just going to throw everything back together and I'll show you the finished project and how it works. Now that everything is put back on, which literally took about five minutes, I'm going to go in here, test everything out. So now that is in the off position, push it in, turns around, just like any switch, toggle switch, and then the fog lights are on, and like I said, when you turn the ignition off, it will turn off because it is hooked up to the radio fuse. So I'll show you guys what I mean. part of this install we'll be cutting out the holes for the fog lights and that took roughly about one one and a half to two hours to do I mean it's not horrible but to me I think it looks a lot better with fog lights and I think they come clear or with the yellow tint and I believe if you put them in an oven for a certain time temperature wise you could take that off and apply a film or whatever but if you guys are, guys have any questions just send me a message or comment, do whatever you want to do, and I'll try to help you guys out as best as possible. Thanks for watching.